Hello, and welcome to 7-Minute Seed. I'm so glad that you're here. I am Pastor Kate with RootBible.com, and I am coming to you with 7 Minutes of Seed that when it goes in and develops root, will change your home into a flourishing heart of God, spirit-led place where the joy of the Lord is all of your strength. Yes, it can happen. So how does it happen? It happens by putting in the Word of God. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to the 7-Minute Podcast. Maybe you only have 7 minutes a day, but you have 7 minutes to get that seed in, be encouraged in how to raise your home up in that Word by the Spirit. And maybe you're like, listen, I work all the time. I'm out of energy. I feel like my faith is being chipped away at. That is exactly why we do a reboot program. Check out rootbible.com slash reboot. It's an hour a day, weekdays, live interactive of just straight word, rebooting your thinking, rebooting where you're drawing your faith from, resetting you to take on the world the way you were meant to, and that's by the life of Christ Jesus and nothing more. Not on your own, not in unbelief, but in the strength that comes from the word of God and the spirit of God renewing you by that word, leading you in knowledge, leading you in truth. It's so powerful. Check it out. Now, on to our seven minutes. Are you ready? The timer is on the clock. Yesterday, we talked about unredeemed toddlers. (laughs) Today, we're going to talk about everyone in your home. As a parent, we need to know more than ever Proverbs 21, 23, 1, excuse me, Proverbs 23, 1. And this is so important. This is a big one that we talked about in Handle with Care semester. This is coming from the table talk in Handle with Care. Remember, you can always register for free. We have classes for every age at rootbible.com and the downloads are free as well. These tools are at your disposal for free to make that seed prevalent in your home, preparing that soil, getting that seed in there, building faith in your home, in each heart. It's so powerful. So Proverbs 23, 1, this is just the first portion of it. For as he thinks within himself, so is he. How many of you know more than ever because of the availability of voices to speak into our hearts and minds everywhere, in our palms, on our computer desks, in our cars, on our walls, in the form of TVs, now in VR goggles, everywhere there are voices that are speaking into our lives, our children's lives, every where they look. And it's trying, there's this this constant voice that will come from the dominion of darkness that wants us or our children to think something in our hearts that we may become it apart from God. So when our children, our toddlers, when our youth are thinking something, we need to know that if they're, it's not something they should be thinking, it's a thought to be taken captive right now. Otherwise, the longer they dwell there, they'll become it. They're going to think on it. You know, the verse, the verse for this last uh, series was, uh, for where your treasure is, there your heart and thoughts will also be. Now, they have edited the version. We have the original version, and they have edited it in their transliterations and their translations where now it only says, uh, where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Now, the Bible differentiates your soul and your spirit and your heart and your belly. And so we don't love that they took it out. So we kept the very old version that most people can't even find anymore because we believe that it starts in the thoughts but it can develop in the heart. And that's why, where, where it becomes them if we let it dwell too long. So when our toddlers, like we talked about yesterday, are acting outside of how we would like them to act, but we realize they're unredeemed, we need to start speaking to them right away who they are. Hey, 
That's not who you are. Do you know who God made you to be? Kind and loving and patient because that's who he's created us to be. Now he gave us his spirit to be able to be those things outside of us just like, oh, I'm patient. No, when we're in his word, when we're led by his spirit, that is the fruit that comes. You'll learn that in rootbible.com slash reboot. You should really check that out. So it is this separate area that, that he pours into us as we just rely on him and dwell in the dominion of light those things come natural so when we're speaking to our children when we're correcting when we're rebuking when we're building up when we're guiding uh, we can use proverbs 23 1 hey as you think within yourself so are you so if they're feeling defeated if they're thinking less than if they're uh contemplating uh struggles that a friend uh is having you know as they think on things things we we go wait a minute wait a minute is this what we're supposed to think on is this coming from our our five senses or is this coming from the the kingdom of light is this something that lines up with christ or do we need to kick this thinking out before we become it I had a friend that her son was dealing with some things and he was thinking on some things and, and being busy parents, they thought, you know, we're just going to ignore it because we know, we know that's not him and it will just pass away. It did not because without dealing with the thinking, then it's going to remain. And if that thinking remains, so is he because that's who he or she thinks that he or she is. So if we don't teach our children from a young age who they are in Christ, who Christ is, so that they can identify wrong thinking and take it captive and then become who they know they are, because in their heart they're thinking on Scripture, on Christ, on peace, on goodness, on kindness, on all the good things He has for us, on the purpose and plans He's developed us for before we were in our mom's wombs. They're thinking on those things, and that's who they'll become. But if they're thinking on worldly or darkness-dominated things, then, then that's who they're going to be tempted to become. So we want them, Proverbs 23, 1, to think on godly things because that is who they will be. We have a kiddo in one of our elementary classes. We've been, we, we had two weeks ago where we talked two weeks on thoughts, taking them captive. And the other day, the mom gave me a testimony that he came to his mom while she was doing laundry and said, the devil's in my head and I need him out. I'm afraid of dying. I think I'm going to die. And and she was like, where is this coming from? Well, this is how the tactics of the enemy work. If he can just get in their head and think it's normal thinking, then they think it's them. And then they become it, right? That's why you must be careful what they're hearing and seeing. And the mom said, well, what do we do with that? And he, he said, well, Pastor Josh from class said, I need a scripture, that, which is Christ. The Bible is Christ. I need a scripture to combat that thought. And so they wrote down a scripture on a card. They, it was uh, for in, in him, I can do all things. In him, I can do all things. They wrote it on a card, hung it on the wall. And every time he, the mom said, I was talking to my son, it seemed like he was looking over my shoulder at that card. And he kept saying, mom, I'm going to memorize that because then every time that thought comes, I'm going to say that scripture. And then that thought will stop coming. See, and you know, this kiddo is I think he's seven. I want to say eight, but I'm pretty sure he's seven. Seven years old, he started to recognize what thinking belonged to him and what thinking was from the dominion of darkness and didn't belong there. So Proverbs 23, one, he will think on the godly things and that is what he'll become because he's already learned to take thoughts captive into the obedience of Christ, that every thought is not who he is or for him to own, and to weigh that thought to the word of God. We can do that with our toddlers, with our children, with our youth, because it is the reality of Christ Jesus that is faith. Thank you for joining me for 7 Minute Seed. We'll see you for the next one where we'll pick up here where we left off and we'll continue on that thought pattern teaching in our homes, encouraging and building up our kids by the word of God, building faith and dispelling unbelief. Blessings on your home until next time.